Tolko Lopsang is a Buddhist master, doctor of Tibetan medicine, and purveyor of transformation, student of Dalai Lama, winner of 14th Dalai Lama Award of Excellence in Health and Spirituality. He has reached the high level of Rinpoche and incarnate Lama. His teachings are mostly related to wealth of body, mind, and life. He is frequently invited for giving talks and workshops at European business schools and companies. His teachings apply to Buddhist psychology and Tibetan medicine techniques to influence authentic leadership, diversity in the workforce, and freeing oneself from burnout. Ladies and gentlemen, please wel welcome uh, Tulku, and uh, I will give you a massive uh, thank you for coming to here. Thank you very much. I think uh, our main subject today is uh, how the burnout, correct? Mainly, this, I think that is the main subject. Um, maybe I say this way first. Mm -hmm. In the Buddhist uh, tradition, uh, relaxation is the wisdom without learning. Relaxation is become medicine without doctor. But in this modern world, relaxation, we don't have so much higher value. We think relaxation means nothing important. But relaxation have many things to give in our mind, in our body, in our life. But they have one problem, relaxation and the laziness is I'm used to tell same mother and the different father. <laughs> yes, we don't know what we really have, we don't know what we really practice in. Many people believe they are practicing relaxation, but maybe we are practicing the laziness. And we then never thought, or we never think, laziness how much have a power. But laziness is the kin of our life. He make a trouble. All kind of uh, transformation. That's the reason Buddha Shachamonin he say, laziness make you a dead person without dying. You are not dead, but you look like dead because of laziness. I'm sure many people you say me, I'm not so lazy person because I'm so busy. Is it possible? But we have a three kind of laziness. Yes, uh, yes, uh, we have a laziness who don't want to do anything. And this name I'm called gross laziness. It's not so dangerous laziness. Everybody see you're lazy, maybe you also feel you're lazy, I don't know. And then we have a second kind of laziness in the laziness who always want to do tomorrow. In the Buddhism, we have a special name this, but I'm just using my simple English. Uh, yes, laziness who always want to tomorrow, and this we call subtle laziness. As who want to do tomorrow is make we are more stressed than who don't want to do anything. <laughs> Correct. Laziness who say, I don't want to do anything is a problem, but it's not so complicated. It's clear. Very, very honest, very, very authentic. But laziness, who say, I do tomorrow, you know, you, you don't, you know, you say, you don't say, I don't want to do, but you say, I do tomorrow. Yeah? And the second laziness, uh, we call subtle laziness, but more intelligent laziness. But uh, one of the, the big, uh, strongest laziness, what we experience this 21st century, number third. 
And this is very difficult to translate very well, but we say laziness who always want to do other things. I hope we translate, I hope I make translate perfectly. And the laziness who always want to do other things or laziness who always need to do other things. But I think better we say laziness who always want to do other things. This name we call great subtle laziness. We call hidden laziness. It's nobody see you are lazy. You also don't believe you are lazy. But this is very, very intelligent laziness. That is the killer of our happiness, our health, or to make stress and burn out. Yeah, the number third laziness. Mm -hmm. Why I talk here this? Because of the relaxation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the relaxation is, I say, is the wisdom without learning. Relaxation is the medicine without doctor. Relaxation, happiness, yeah, without reason. Yes, but laziness is so near with relaxation we really don't know what we have or what we really practice. Therefore, I recommend it, yes, to everyday life to practice relaxation. But to practice relaxation means you don't, I mean, relaxation means not mean you need to, you need to think so slowly. Sometimes people misunderstand relaxing means it need to be slowly walk, slowly log. Okay, that's also good, correct? Or sometimes people think relaxation means, you know, don't do anything. However, mm, mm, huh? that's the reason is the meditation become very important. Meditation is a, what say, meditation is the way to relax. Yes, but what we need to relax, relax, what we need to relax, relax our effort. We are a world of effort. We are a world of the effort, means we are a world of the condition. We are never free of a condition. No matter how you success, we never free of a condition. Yes, that means we are world of the effort, and that's effort, effort. Sometimes our effort become what say force, force, yeah, effort, force, whatever you call. And that's make we are stressed and burn out or depression. Yes, I know we are not enlightened world. We are world of the condition means we are world of the effort. We are world of the effort means we are world of the action. Whatever we want to change in this world, somehow we need action. Somehow looks like. But the action is not only way to solve things, but without action also you possible things to solve. Example, relaxation. Therefore, what we relax and the relax? Effort. Effort. But a very interesting thing, sometimes we say relax. I say relax. Then mostly people think they know relax. But I'm very interested in when I say relax. What picture in your, in, your, in, in your mind, in your head? That's I'm very interested. I say, please relax. What kind of a picture come in your mind? Somewhere you sit, lay down, or, or relax. What, what kind of a picture is come in your mind when I say relax? However, 
<laughs> what I want to say, in my philosophy, we believe 98 our troubles or 98 our problems, 98 problems, yes, the problems, the projection of your mind. Only two problems is not projection of your mind. But 98, as all kind of problems, is the projection of a mind. You relax five to ten minutes, all these 98 problems dissolve or disappear herself. Is amazing. Relaxation, you don't need to learn. Relaxation is beyond religion. Relaxation beyond the culture. Relaxation is beyond, what say, philosophy. Relaxation is beyond the science. Something we never need to learn, word, relaxation. But the problem, we don't have anything, something we don't learn. That is the problem. That's the reason I say relax. Then you start to thinking, okay, how I do? Because you always used to do everything with your learning, but something you don't need to learn and you become nervous, you know? You don't believe how possible this is a function. And therefore, you need to learn to relax and you never success to relax. Maybe you learn everything okay, except relaxation. <laughs> yeah, but if, let's say we start to say hello, relax. You say okay, then you start. You, then you start. You, then you start to try to relax. You 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 try to you try to do relax. You see. I say don't do anything. That's what I'm talking. But you say, yes, yes, okay, I'm, I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to relax. You try to relax, that is not a relax. Don't do relax. But you see, you don't have, we don't have something we not learn. We feel, you know, therefore you, you try to relax. And then you go to relax and this makes you stress. Then many people say, I think I'm, I'm not good with meditation. I think so. I'm not good with meditation. Meditation is not function me. You know, no, no. I think the problem, we don't, we don't catch the points. Maybe I like to say maybe this way. Therefore, mm, uh, uh, relaxation, yes, is the, the medicine of all problems. Yeah. Therefore, maybe you try to every morning or every every morning try to have a small relaxation to five to ten minutes. Each three hours try to remember the relaxation. Because each three hours our mind starts to forget it, what we promise ourselves or what we give instruction ourselves. That is a, yeah. Again, yeah. What I want to say, just a simple relaxation. To relax, you don't need to speak English. Really, that's a good thing. You don't need to be Buddhism. Uh, yes, you don't need to speak uh, English, yes. Relaxation is, I think, Maybe universal, uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't need to speak German or you don't need to speak Tibetan to, 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 to relax. Yeah, therefore, you make ten to five to ten minutes, make simple relaxation. I just tell you the small tips or small Methods is the 98 your problems is disappear look like weather of the today. 
weather of today, what you call Seattle, have very beautiful weather today. Yeah? <laughs> Just all clouds disappear, empty space. In the similar, after, after, you know, just after 10 minutes, let's say, after 10 minutes or after 5 minutes of your relaxation, yeah, you, you, you open and your eyes or whatever, and then you see two problems. After relaxation, you don't see three problems, only you see two problems. I give guarantee you. <laughs> I'm just joking. USA is very much like a guarantee. Guarantee? I see in your televisions always, yes, now, guarantee, guarantee, call now, guarantee, give back or something. You always have this kind of very much energy. Europe, you go, is nobody guarantee. Everybody relax, you know. <laughs> very loud, you know, guarantee. I look always in your television. You always have this advertisement, man, somewhere you find a way. Guarantee, guarantee, okay. Yes, very good, good. <laughs> Therefore, my conclusion is after, yeah, after 10 to 5, 10 to 5 minutes relaxation, yes, and there are only two problems remain, they now have a three problem. And this two problem is also not really problem. What I want to say here, once you relax, you only see two problems, no matter what kind of you have problem. What I mean, this two problem, maybe, no matter, sorry, no matter what kind of problem you have, maybe you possible change, maybe you no possible change. That's all. You possible change your problem is not a problem. It's you possible change your problem, it looks like problem, but really, really not a problem. Isn't it? And you problem, you know possible change, how possible something unchangeable become your problem. <laughs> Correct? Well, that's, we need to be a little more intelligent, you know. Something changeable is not really, really, really problem because I possible change. Is something unchangeable, how possible this become problem you? Let's be a little intelligent. Cows also not take unchangeable things a problem. We are human beings, maybe we are a little more intelligent than cow. <laughs> but I need to say something one here. We are human beings have one thing, something cows don't have, let's say. Cows is not enough intelligent to change others. That is the only reason cows why is relaxed. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? <laughs> sometimes you look in the cows, you, you know, you sometimes think, it's not so bad to be cow, you know. <laughs> really, you know, sometimes you look in their face, it's quite okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking, yeah? Yeah? Cows is, cow don't know how to change others. Yeah. Changing others is the main reason to why we have a stress and burn out the depressions. In my philosophy, changing others is always wrong. No matter you have a right, no matter a right, changing others is one of the great humans ever know to one of the great whoever humans possible make a mistake. But remember, we all possible help others, but we know possible change others. And the help and the change is very near again. I told him before, relax and the laziness is so near, we misunderstand similar, we misunderstand change and what say, mm, help. Yes, we need to help others. We also need help others. Everybody need help until we are in this world. Until we are in this world, we always need help. 
You say yes or no, no make a difference. You always need help. Isn't it? We born also with help, not you just born yourself. <laughs> Correct? You just not born yourself. Correct? <laughs> Correct? In your life, you see, also leave, you do not just leave yourself, you also need the help of others. Also, you, after dead or you're dying, you also, you're not possible just die yourself. You always need the help of others. One, they don't have a moment of we don't need to help help of the others. We always need the help of others. However, changing others is therefore I'm used to tell people whoever wants unhappy, please don't forget to change others. <laughs> mm, that's all. You don't know how to make unhappy simple. Just you practice change others. You don't believe me, you try to with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, or you just not make big change, maybe you have big problem. Just make small change. Yeah. <laughs> Name of the help, we always try to change in others. That's the reason in the, my philosophy always say, changing others, is the, one of the biggest mistakes ever have in human history. We know more how to change others, we know more how to make more problem. However, what I want to say here, hmm, changing yourself, we always say wisdom. Helping others is your power. Helping others is your power and the power without, or say, helping others is your power. Power without a taking. Power without you taking. Whenever you need to take power, and that's make you tired. But somehow we need power. We need the power. Because this world, the world of the action, action need power. I understand, but the power you need to receive naturally. How? With help. I'm sure then, what mean help? Oh, I don't have so much money. How possible I'm helping others? You know, you just smile in somebody. That's enough to help others. You don't need to give millions of money. Help means you just say hello. That's already help. You just say smiling. It's already help. You know? Therefore, helping others is your power. Changing yourself is your wisdom. Helping others is your happiness. There's nothing have more happiness than that. Changing yourself is a freedom. What we need, what we wanted, happiness and the freedom. Freedom is not freedom. Okay, I say this way, freedom is some kind of realization. It's not something you possibly really make, I think. Therefore, my conclusion, uh, our topic today in the stress and the burnout, correct? Uh, especially in the burnout. I, I'm sure I give a few other techniques, but I just want to tell the relaxation. Hmm? A relaxation name we call wisdom without learning. Therefore, please don't learn to how to relax. Huh? And please don't do relax. Don't try to relax then hopefully you know what I mean. And the relaxation is not something you receive and something you discover. Relaxation is not something you receive, something you discover. That means you don't try to relax. Just to be. Just to be. Yeah. Therefore, I'm used to tell people, relax without make relax. Therefore, maybe uh, uh, 21 minutes practice, maybe every morning, is your possible. 21 minutes of the practice, maybe. Yeah, 
20, I just want to say this, 21 minutes of practice. That's 21 minutes of the practice, change is your one day. Change of a one day is become change of your life. Because life is never come big than one day. You're born one day, you live one day, you die one day. Tomorrow is not exist. I mean, it exists, but it's not really exist. Tomorrow never come. If I'm used to tell people, yeah, yesterday is dead. Tomorrow is not born. Today is the only what you have, but that's enough. Therefore, today is the day. Today you are happy. I call you have a happy life. Therefore, I never tell people try to have a happy life. I always say try to have a happy day. Because life is too long, too big. We have confused. However, this life is to stay 100 years. Our body is made to stay 100 years. Anybody stay more than 100 years, you are illegal. <laughs> Please don't stay. You are illegally staying this planet. <laughs> After 100 years, you are against the nature, you need to die. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, okay? Some people, I'm sure, stay. No, but however, yes? Mother planet is just a beautiful hotel. Hmm? Yes, I don't say this is home, but it's hotel. Please don't act look like home, just act look like hotel. Means don't try to own things and try to just use things. I mean, don't, don't try to own things and just try to make enjoy things. But sometimes humans so much focus to owning, on, on. If you try to buy, th on, on. Look like you stay forever, but not in this beautiful hotel. You not only stay a hundred years. What's hundred years? Maybe I'm now forty years old. Maybe you years, maybe same age around many people. But after twenty thousand day, I'm. It's uh, nearly ninety years or ninety five or ninety six years old after 20,000 years. The famous life, life is so famous. Everybody just behind the life, 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 life. It's famous life, you calculate it, it's only 20,000 days. What you make so complicated? It's a very important talk, I'm sorry to say, death. Death makes you more relaxed and calm. It's not nice. But it's good massage. <laughs> Sometimes our egos growing so much, you know, and then better to think death, and then you come more calm, and you're more realistic, you're more ground. Otherwise, sometimes you too much fly. Too much fly, you know. Yeah. Therefore, after 20,000 days, you all, we all, or we all is dead people. Yeah, and especially people who don't believe in next life, this is your last chance. Yes? It's okay, you don't believe in next life, very okay. I also make some, some joke in Europe, I say, I'm, I'm, I would say, uh, we need many people who don't believe in next life, because that's the only way to reduce population. <laughs> <laughs> Nature way, you know, voluntarily, nobody, you just decide yourself. <laughs> Yes, we say, oh, very good. We need more people who don't believe in next life because then we have less human beings. <laughs> just joking, yeah? I'm just joking. Yeah. yeah. Let's say we have 20,000 days. Let's you count yourself. I don't think we have more than 20,000 days, mostly. In the 20,000 days, 10,000 days, we sleep. Yes. And that is sleep. And then we left the war. 10,000 day more, and maybe 8,000 day or 7,000 day we go to work to sit in one chair, whatever chair, gold chair or diamond chair is a chair. You sit in one chair and you walk in. And then you left the 2,000 day. And 1,000 day maybe you're not happy, or I don't know. Then you left 1,000 day. 1,000 day means maybe it's three years and you need preparation to check out in the hotel. Mr. Death is calling your room number and he speaks all languages. He never make a mistake. He never make a mistake. Once he calls your room number, he never make a mistake. Correct? 
let's we are all guests in one beautiful hotel, five-star hotel I call. Five-star hotel means the planet made with the five elements. They have many planets in the space, but they have maybe, they don't have so many look like our planet. I'm sure they have countless because infinite. Yes, we are in the best planet. It's five star, five element. Therefore, let's make enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see life is shorter and you have less stress. I think. Me this way, maybe some people not. <laughs> maybe, yes. But however, is we are just in the hotel. Hmm? Yes, it's a beautiful hotel, but we are hotel. Therefore, just relax. Huh? Therefore, I'm used to tell sometimes people, maybe Mr. Death calling your room number, then you start to say, hey, hello, Mr. Death, but I'm so important person. I have so many things to do, but please you call tomorrow. Correct? You possible say, but no. And then maybe you say, hello, Mr. Death, I know I'm in your hotel, but I have much money. I give every night 10,000 euro. Give. Please extend my stay. And the Mr. Death is laughing with a deep voice. He's ha, 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 correct? He laughing. He just laughing you. He said, I'm sorry, never try again this, he said. Yeah? He said, my hotel is so famous in this planet, it's next hundred years already book, And you tomorrow need to check out before 12 o'clock. I'm sorry. Correct? Therefore, my conclusion, what we want, what I want to say, <sighs> life is short. It's only 20,000 days. Why we are fighting so much? I know everybody fighting to fighting to look like we serve, we need to be here forever. Everybody worries look like we need to stay here forever. But it's only twenty thousand day. What you need more in the this twenty thousand day? Let's be intelligent, but be more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. However, therefore, what I want to say, every morning, maybe you try to 10 minutes some exercise. What kind of exercise you know, mat no matter. Any exercise you know, or you just create your own exercise, whatever. Mm -hmm. The exercise release and the tensions and the blocks of your body. Yeah? You know, yes, you make 10 minutes exercise. I don't think that's a big problem. And then 10 minutes you make a relaxation. Hmm? 10 minutes relaxation. After 10 minutes relaxation, I give you two kind of, what to say, wisdom words or something. Yeah. Okay. Totally you need I would say 21 minutes. I, I think maybe I'm a little too much. Maybe I'm America way of the talking here. But in the 21 minutes, possible change your life. I, I, I'm not saying this in Europe. Nobody come then. <laughs> they just say, you know, 21 minutes practice, change your life. I think they don't believe me. <laughs> Sometimes I need to come to different country. I need to talk in a different way. You know, you, everybody have a different culture, you know. However, uh, 10 minutes exercise, 10 minutes relaxation. After all, after 20 minutes, I want you to say two sentences, two sentences. Mm -hmm. The sentence, you say this way, you open eyes before you give any action, before you give any, any action, mentally, verbally, physically. You know, before you give any action, just you relax. You're just calm, pure and nature. And you say this way. First action in your mind, you say, I do my best in this world. 
you really not only say in somewhere, you really say in the bottom of your heart. You don't do this way. I do my best. Correct? I do my best. Not, not this way, you know. Correct? You say, oh, you look, you up at, you say, I do my best. Hello. No. You know, that's not to make you different. You really relax, calm, and you go deep in your side, the bottom of a heart, middle of your bones, through of your blood. You really feel this, the sentence you say, I do my best in this world, in myself or others. Then you say, but after whatever happened, I accept it. I do my best, still something go wrong, I accept it. In this world, is, world is never go perfect. World is never go perfect, never go best. They always need some place to accept it. That is the only solution. Yes. That's name what Buddhism call kindness and compassion. We do our best, this is kindness. After something go wrong, we accept it, this is compassion. But the kindness is a very near attachment. Kindness is very near attachment. Uh, compassion is very near sometimes, uh, uh, what to say, sadness or, or, or anger. Mm -hmm. Therefore, sometimes we very easy to, you know, once sometimes we go to practice a kindness, we only want to practice a kindness, nice people, beautiful people. Correct? You're very nice, I want to be kind. <laughs> but maybe this is not kindness, this is attachment. Therefore, attachment, kindness, we misunderstand. Sometimes compassion and the sadness, can, compassion or sadness or anger, we also misunderstand. Therefore, my conclusion, you have two small, simple practice. Okay, 10 minutes, exercise and then relaxation, and then two sentences. The sentence, you say, I do my best. After something go wrong, I accept it. That's it. Therefore, I'm used to tell people making joke. If you go back now home, maybe your house is going fire, and you don't forget, you tell your house, I did, I did your I best, but I now accept it. You know, <laughs> house, I did your best, but now you, you just decide to go fire, I accept it. But maybe this will not happen again, again, I make better make one picture. You make one selfie picture, but don't put in the Facebook. You don't receive insurance. Yeah? <laughs> Therefore, some, somebody asked me, uh, some very businessman, he asked me, uh, Turkulovzan looks like you are happy and you have any, what to say, special method how to be happy, then I just make a joke here. I have a small method, but you don't tell anybody. You, you tell this and you lose a job. And then he said, what is that? I say, if you really want to be happy, you need to be a little crazy. <laughs> Not, not big crazy, okay? We enough so many crazy people, but not complete crazy, but be little crazy. Yeah, because life is a crazy. Anyway, therefore my conclusion, I wanted to show you a small exercise, very small exercise, and then, and then short relaxation, and then the sentence. That's okay? It's good? Yes, okay, the, the exercise is very, very sh sh small. I want that you close your fists this way, and also here, yeah. This areas, this areas, very important areas, yes. However, you make somehow 
somehow you look like this way. And the 21 seconds I wanted, you all of the masters, all faces also, I want to do this. Okay? But I don't make a picture of you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> look like you have a pen, but without a pen. Okay, 21 seconds, and you do this, and then relax, you know. That's okay. You are ready. That's simple exercise. Sorry, before I do this, I want to make one self-massage. Warm up your palms. And to make... Yes. This massage is very good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Okay, 21 seconds. You make tight everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's power, 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 power. Together, everything together. 21 minutes, please. Oh, <laughs> 21. <laughs> Breathe out. I want you to do this. One time more this exercise, okay? Is with holding the breath. 21 seconds you hold the breath. And the longest hold in this breath record is 25 minutes officially. But some of Tibetans, some Indians, they hold two days, three days, but it's not their practice official place. But let's say, yeah, not hold 20 minutes, but uh, 25 minutes, only just, let's say, 21 seconds. Hold your breath in the navel and to make tight everything again, okay? Because we increase wind and the fire. With this exercise, we increase in the wind and the fire, and then we relax, and then we come in earth and water. And then all balance. That is the secret. Ready? Breath, breathe in. Hold your breath. Okay, tight. 21 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Full power, full power, full power. 21 minutes, breathe out. <sighs> Okay, I think we don't need the 10 minutes exercise, yeah? <laughs> now we want to make a breath, breathe in. <sighs> and this exercise increase wind and fire. Now we make small relaxation. We keep straight our spine and uh, yes, yes. Now we connect it and earth and water. Mm -hmm. Relax all of your efforts. Just be without any efforts in your body, in your mind. You go deeper, relax, and you discover this inner space. The nature of this inner space is a peace.
Oh, okay, thank you very much. Then you say this two sentence, I do my best, after whatever comes, I accept it. And then you never have a problem with life. You know exactly how to swim. Life is look like ocean. We are in the, in the ocean. We are not in the land, we are in the ocean. The solution, only swim. I know nobody wants to swim, but you need to swim. But remember, to swim, we need to relax. Otherwise, long swim. Life is the, the wave of the ocean, the change of, you know, wave of change. We are just need to swim, but we to relax. And then my last two sentences, or three sentences, whenever you have stress or burnout, whatever you have, as you need more energy, is they have one small solution, the shower. Shower, in my tradition, is a shower is a very, very spiritual practice. Shower with fresh water, not hot, not cold, just fresh water. To shower, you stay under the water, is maybe five to ten minutes, and you come out, you don't believe what change you have. But the problem, we don't believe that, because too cheap, too easy. I'm sorry, but, you know, too cheap and too easy. But just shower, shower, give you a new mind, new body, new life. It's amazing. And the secondly, is you really don't want to burn out stress. They have one thing you practice, everyday life to like people, like people. How many people you like? Six billion, Six billion exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, practice to like people. Understand? Like people, but that's not mean all people is good. There's nothing to do good or right or wrong. Just try to like people, like people, because people is the big problem. Who make we are stressed, who make we are burn out, maybe who make we are unhappy. Therefore, try to like people. Maybe you go to the outside, sometimes just try to scream yourself, do, I like people. I know you say, I like trees, trees is good, but the tree never make your problem so much. You don't like tree, it's, it's, it's not a big, big problem, but the people is a problem. Therefore, we need to practice like people. I think this gives you more energy, this gives you more happy, and you maybe many good things have. And then my last words, whoever wants more stress, burn out, don't forget to change others. And thank you very much. And I'm finished. I think our time is somehow finished, but maybe I give one or two times of question is okay. So my question for you is, a lot of times I feel like when I'm trying to do things efficiently, which means to do it at the shortest amount of effort, hmm. that that calls me to be stressed or upset. And so is there something about that being efficient versus happy? Is there anything about that you will want to say? Mm. Okay. Um, oi, it's, uh, I just make a very short answer give here, but uh, uh, I think it's most important whatever you do before, is whatever you give some actions, it's very important to relax. Once you relax and you see everything clear, once you see everything clear, all of your actions make different you. But the problem, we make action is the first, and then we think is after. And then always is what say, we do so many things, but very little thing happen. But then people always think, okay, you know, I want to happen everything fast. But then is relax is the opposite of happen is fast. Therefore, we know to relax first, and we try to action is first. But first you relax. You relax and relax. Once you relax, everything more clear. Once you clear, then you give action. Then each your actions make all different, I think. Thank you. Yeah. So I have a question. Uh, 
have a question though. How about when other people try to change us? How to react to the situation that like other people want to change us? Let's say my wife wants to change me and it's make me stressed. Then how I handle those guys? Okay. I think then you send your wife and with me and I talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, is always very, it's, uh, it's, uh, ch what say, it's a challenge, yes. Uh, we, we have uh, some kind of a story of a saying. Uh, one day they have uh, the story of the mother and the wife is a fighting. Mother and the wife is a fighting. And my mother and my wife is a fighting. My wife always say, your mother is no good. And then my mother say, always, oh, yes, your wife is not good. And in between, I'm suffering. And then always, my mother say, your wife is not good. But I know my, mother, my wife is not complete, not good. Then I always try to explain that my mother fight more. And then my wife says, my mother is not good. And then, you know, I know it's not everything too. Then I try to always talk something. And then it's, uh, my wife is more fight. That means we all have more fight. Then solution, when your wife say, I just I'm give a round answer, you know, not really did a solution, your wife say, your mother is no good, many think, and the best you be silence. You say, okay, don't, don't, what say, we say, you say, okay, yes, 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 yes. Why? Because the truth is not important, help is more important. Truth is not, because truth is not flexible. Truth is not important, help is more important. In the, we have a saying, therefore, my wife say, my mother no good, it's not true, but the best I say yes, yes. I don't need to give reason, I say yes and yes. And my mother say, your wife is not good, then I also say yes and yes. I say, okay, okay, okay. Then she let's talk, let's talk, hopefully. And then one day maybe there come, you all come one table, then they both start to talk, and the best you be head down and don't say anything and the silence. We say something look like this. Therefore, I don't have a really perfect answer, just I give example. Yes, I don't have a really, really perfect answer, some quick answers there. Therefore, truth is not important, help is more important. Not loud, let's say, truth is not important, help is important. Therefore, because truth is not flexible. Therefore, you need to be flexible. Therefore, more help, then you need to say yes, yes. You No, no, it's okay, be flexible, maybe. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Thank Even you. some guys that I sell push more fights. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Are you relaxed all the time? Uh, me, no, no, not all the time. No, I'm, I'm, I'm more relaxed. I say yes, I relax generally, but not always. But generally, I quite relax, but not sometimes. Sometimes not, but generally, yeah, generally, I have a very clear decision. I have a very, very clear decision. That's helped me. I have one general clear decision. I need sometime every day some decisions, but I have a very clear picture and a clear understand, and thus maybe me help generally calm. But sometimes small things make me problem. Something big thing happen, I'm always calm. You know? But the very small things happening, maybe you, I don't know, you say bring food in the 10 o'clock and you five minutes late, something those, the small, very, very small things. Therefore, I need more careful the small things. The big things, I'm already exercised, training myself, any big problems coming, I'm a more relaxed, more calm. But the small, very, very small problems, I'm sometimes, you know, I, you know, and that sometimes make me bother. Therefore, I need more training with the small problems to also make a calm, not only big, big problems. Therefore, generally, I feel a little more calm. Yeah. Okay. I was curious if you had any tips. I think I find myself suffering from that sort of subtle laziness that you were talking about. Uh, how, can, how can you kind of escape that trap of being subtly lazy? Is it through relaxation and meditation? Or do you have any specific advice about how to 
become. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's the, the laziness and the, they have of many antidotes have. But most important laziness antidote is uh, motivation and uh, belief. Belief and the motivation is the antidote of the laziness. But we always say, the I need a reason to motivate. Yes, I need a reason. I need a reason. I need a reason to motivate. My reason is too small, and the motiva my motivation is too small. My motivation is too small, my belief is too small. My belief is too small, my practice is too small. Therefore, you need what is a reason. When you want big reason, you need to big understand. You more understand, you really understand, you have a reason. You have more reason and you're motivated. You're motivated, you believe. You believe, you practice. You practice and you become success. Therefore, I think, I'm sure it's the relaxation always good, whatever you, wherever you have laziness, I think first you need to go to deep yourself, make a discussion yourself, and you need to find a big, big reason. You need a big reason to find, to motivate. A reason is motivate. Sometimes our reason is too small. I say, why you meditate? Oh, I think, I don't know, some people say, good, therefore I come here. You see, your reason is so small. And clear, you don't do practice this uh, two times, three times, you never do. Why, 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 why? And I say, why? You need to give bigger reason. To reason, you need to understand. You are more understand, hopefully you have more reason. You have more reason, and the reason is the power. And that's make we are motivate. Something look like this. Therefore, maybe go to retreat, yes. two, three days, and to make a discussion yourself. You don't reject it, all kind of mind, and just you make every mind, all kind of mind, you let's make invite to make a calm, and to speak, and to discuss, and to make a big, big meeting yourself, and then maybe you come together, you have some, you know, then you make one conclusion possible yourself. Because, the laziness is a big problem and you lose believe yourself. Once you're lazy, example, today I give you a new mind, let's say. It's I'm talk. I'm not a good talker, but when I'm talk, maybe you have a new mind. You can become more exciting. Okay, maybe I do this way. That is good. But then the other mind starts to say in you, yes, you, you always say I do, but you never did it. I don't believe you. And then you go down. You see, you always try to motivate, but not the, the, the deep mind, mind who stay with you last 25 years, he always don't believe you. Because 25 years, you always promise yourself, but you never did it. Yes, but then new mind, you go to somewhere, somebody talks so many things, new mind born, he say, yes, I won't do now. And this old mind say, hey, you know, Better you don't so exciting. I know this man 25 years, but he never do. And then again, you, you see? Therefore, I think, make big, go retreat yourself, make a deep look inside to make a discussion yourself to bring one big reason. Reason is the, is a power. And that's make motivation. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.